Over the course of centuries, there have been countless supposed sightings of beasts, phenomena, and new undiscovered species. They have made their way into science fiction, cultural folklore, and even campfire horror stories. Whether you consider these sightings false or wholeheartedly believe these bizarre anecdotes, we cannot be certain what these beings truly are. Cryptids have been known to hide in our seas, our mountains, or anywhere in between. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at animals we think may be lurking within our jungles. Dingo Neck Throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, tales emerged of the Dingo Neck, a strange creature mostly seen within the African Congolese jungles, found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Investigating these jungles has led us to the discoveries of new species, such as the okapi, a distant relative to the giraffe, or the bongo, an African forest antelope. But could there also be some more unusual, less easily explained animals hiding amongst the trees? The dingo neck, often referred to as a jungle walrus, has had very mixed descriptions of its physical appearance throughout the years, after revealing itself for only a few minor glimpses. From first-hand accounts to people's personal opinion based upon drawings, this strange creature has been reported as being a peculiar mix of many animals, a jungle walrus, a scorpion mixed with a big cat, a pangolin combined with a saber-toothed tiger, a beast fish. The first report of the dingo neck occurred in 1907, spotted near Lake Victoria by big game hunter Alfred Jordan alongside his accompanying hunting party. Perhaps our most detailed account of the dingo neck, however, has come from another big game hunter, Edgar Beecher Bronson, who has recounted his experience with the beast in his 1910 memoir, Enclosed Territory. Bronson described this cryptid as reaching 14 or 15 feet in length, having a head with markings resembling that of a leopard, but the size of a lioness, having two white fangs, scales similar to an armadillo, a fin as a tail, and the width of a hippopotamus. This peculiar description of such a physically repellent creature is confusing, to say the least. In 1913, an article was published in the East Africa Natural History Society, written by Charles William Hobley, which added similar descriptions to Bronson's. In 1918, an article published in a magazine confirmed the beast as being a recent discovery of a new species. According to sightings and legends, the dingo neck is a carnivore and shows no mercy to any animals it may come across. The meter-long tusks allow for almost any animal to become an easy victim to the dingo neck. Only elephants appear to be exempt, presumably due to their great size and strength. Equipped with its strange mixture of animal features, the dingo neck is reportedly incredibly territorial, meaning a passerby can easily fall prey to the beast fish. This unusual creature is inarguably elusive, though with such mixed accounts and interpretations surrounding the physical aspects of this animal, how can we be sure we will ever find it? The search continues to determine the true nature of this supposedly hideous beast. Solomon Islands Dragon Snake The Solomon Islands are rumored to be home to the dragon snake, a flying creature similar to a dragon that allegedly spits fire. The dragon snake is thought to be found largely in coastal or mountainous areas of the Solomon Islands, as this is where the majority of sightings have occurred. This nocturnal creature has a rather poor reputation amongst us humans, as it is known for its hostility and has been determined to be the cause of any missing person cases and even some loss of life. It is a common idea that pterosaur cryptids are less than pleasant towards humans, a trend the dragon snake seemingly intends to keep. Often seen as a light source or a silhouette, the dragon snake is said to be bioluminescent, much like a jellyfish, in order to attract prey, such as fish and other sea creatures. The other physical attributes of the dragon snake include a human-like body, but with a generic shape that mimics that of a stingray, reaching 60 feet in diameter. A long tail is often shown to have a shape at the end, usually alternating between a triangular or diamond shape. 
With piercing red eyes and a green and brown scaly skin, the dragon snake certainly does not appear to resemble any life we can currently confirm exists. The most distinctive feature, and perhaps the most terrifying, however, is the dragon snake's ability to breathe fire. Accounts describe a fireball being shot, burning items upon impact. Accompanied by the silent nature of the beast, it certainly sounds difficult to escape this creature. The initial sighting of the dragon snake has been recounted in Gerard de Jode's 1593 atlas entitled Speculum Orbis Terrae, meaning Mirror of the World. More recent sightings have been reported by Western travelers too. One fisherman allegedly saw the dragon snake flying overhead and made the ill-advised choice to point a torch at it, eliciting an angry response from the strange beast. The odd creature followed the fisherman to shore and supposedly aimed their fiery weapons towards the poor man. It has been claimed that the scorched and damaged paint seen on the interior of the boat is evidence of this chase. The dragon snake was said to then linger whilst the man hid, before eventually leaving. Another encounter of the dragon snake has been reported by Marias Borovon, a former RAAF engineer. When Borovon and his friends were fishing, they saw a bright light, which they likened to a star. This light allegedly went underwater and emerged stronger, continuing to move over the sky until it was no longer visible over the trees. Within the span of seven months, Borovon's group of adventurers saw the dragon snake 60 times. Borovon described the beast as a Star Trek warrior-type reptilian half-human man. Throughout the centuries, many people have proposed alternative explanations to explain this unusual creature. Some believe alien activity is the true cause of the lights frequently visible from the island. Intermittent lights could show possible alien bases on Earth. Marias Borovon himself suggested that his group saw an alien UFO, though information was scarcely available online surrounding cryptids in 2003, when Borovon created his website, which may have influenced his conclusions. Others believe this creature was created due to the high levels of seismic activity on the Solomon Islands, and others refute this, claiming that a monster created by a geological feature would appear on the ground, not in the sky. Those less inclined to believe the supernatural argue that possible hidden military action or other human activity is the root of this wonder, while skeptics claim this is a hoax or hallucination. So it appears the mystery beast may not be so easily explained after all. From the theories of possible other causes to the abductions it should be responsible for, the dragon snake could continue to hide in the jungle forever. Sewil, possible uncontacted tribe. Sewil are considered to be a race of wild humanoids, a species that closely resembles humankind but with notable significant differences. Thought to be similar to known humanoid species in Indonesia, Sibyl lives in the jungles of Java, also in Indonesia, mostly surrounding Meru Batiri National Park. Sibyl is derived from the Japanese word meaning little, so it should come as no surprise that the distinctive differences between the human race and Sibyl tribe is size. A physical account of the Sibyl tribe describes them as reaching less than a meter in height, traveling unclothed and in groups, with a fair amount of body hair and hair that reaches to their shoulders. These humanoids often frequent areas surrounding water in order to access seafood such as fish, crab and shrimp, which we believe composes the main basis of their diet. Fishing often takes place using handcrafted tools such as spears, as well as small bags in order to carry their food and supplies. While us humans appear keen to interact and increase our sightings, the Sibyl tribe have been known, so far, to run from humans or jump in order to flee from us. These humanoids have a reputation for their agility, being able to jump to both impressive heights and lengths when you consider their relative height. What makes these humanoids unique is how advanced they appear to be. The tribe seems to be remarkably close to human life, like ourselves. Sibyl live and function as part of a community, and their relatively advanced tools indicate a higher intelligence than other known humanoid tribes. 
For example, the Orang Pendek tribe is referred to as being similar to small gorillas, and the Ibu Gogo having a close resemblance to orangutans. Harry Beauty Ermawan, a municipal council member, explored the jungles of Java to aim to find the Sewol. He saw them, but, in keeping with expectations, the men ran. Strangely, when Ermawan took some covert photos from a distance, the photos were developed to reveal only background, with the Sewol tribe members being absent from the frame. Anang Retano ventured with the mysterious tracks team in order to find the Sibyl people in 2011, and they saw tracks they had left. Retano discovered some tracks along the estuary of the Nangalang River, with the length from toe to ankle reaching just 9.2 centimeters and only 2 centimeters in width. Video footage was retrieved in which three men can be seen to run into the jungle. The video suggested the Sibyl tribe make a phonetic sound likened to a monkey. For now, we remain unable to contact this tribe, though hopefully this can change in the near future. Plenty of animals, humanoids and monsters live on the brink of discovery, and while for now we watch from a distance, reporting encounters and taking photos, perhaps one day we can truly understand the other life that lives amongst us on Earth. But what do you make of these mysterious cryptids that live in the jungle? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.